Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Guys, I'm so excited for this video. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to read this book. Oh my God. As you saw by the title, it's here. It's happening. This is it. We are doing this thing, baby. I am so excited. If you've been living under a rock, you would not know the hold that this book has had on the booktube community. This book has surpassed all space and time. It has risen from the depths of the earth, come out into the light, and just take in charge over booktube and book talk and bookstagram and every book thing you could ever dream of. I have not read this book and I have avoided most spoilers and anything about what this book is about. I have a very basic premises of what Fourth Wing is about, but I really don't know much about it, if anything at all. I am so excited. We are going to be reading Fourth Wing in this video and I happened to plan this video a week before the second book, Iron Flame, gets released, which is November 7th. So this video, we are going to be reading Fourth Wing, and then I'm definitely going to be taking you on the release day for Iron Flame and talking to you more about that and stuff like that. So that is the plan for this video today. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, would love it if you'd hit the subscribe button or give me a like if you have read this book, okay? This is all I know what it's about, to be honest with you. I read the first five pages of this book like two months ago. All I know is it's about this girl who's going to a school to learn how to ride dragons or something along those lines. I have avoided all spoilers. I think this is, has a fantasy romance element to it. Actually, I'm like 99% sure it does because I know people rave about it. I don't know literally anything else about this book other than that. And the fact that like a lot of people love it, but some people don't. So I'm really interested to see what I'm going to think about this. Without further ado, let's get going on fourth wing. Can't wait, I can't wait. Hello everyone. <laughs> I have my first update. Guys, if you can't tell by my uh, non-verbals right now, I am in love. I am in love. What has taken me so long? What has taken me so long? So I am on page, I'm only on page 39. Okay, I've read like three chapters of this, but here, oh, let me just tell you my journey so far with this book. So I read the first chapter last night before I went to bed. I, I just sat in bed. I was like, oh, I'm going to start this book, open it up, read literally two pages of it. And I'm like, I'm hooked, baby. I'm hooked. I didn't want to go to sleep last night. I was so just like obsessed with it right off the bat. I haven't felt this way about a book in so long. And you guys, I feel like I am just like entering my fantasy romance girly era. And I have been wanting to enter this era for so long. Oh my God. I just hope this book lives up to what I'm feeling right now because I swear to God, if this book lets me down from where I'm at at this point, I'm gonna be so mad. I will be so mad. I'm sure if you're watching this video, you've read this book before, but I just wanna like give you my first little impression. So we started off meeting Violet. She's going to this school, right? And she's trained her whole life to become a scribe. And then her mom is like part of like the school's administration or something. And her mom's like, nope, you're gonna be a dragon rider and like doesn't give her an option. So she's essentially thrown into this entire rider's qu quadrant thing and like kind of has to overcome trials and tribulations we love trials and tribulations to become a dragon rider and that's about as far as I am essentially like the book starts off hot with her having to do like a challenge this book it's just giving me hunger games combined with divergent and then dragons like those three things that's just what this book is feeling right now and I am literally obsessed with it this is it's so good and I think we've already met the love interest just based on the description of this character I'm like yeah that guy's gonna be the love interest for sure there's been a few things that have been a little bit cringy and I'm just hoping that that there isn't too much cringe within this book just like a few things that the characters have said or like I don't know kind of like sexual comments I'm like okay that's like really soon to be thrown that in there um don't know how that's gonna play out in the rest of the book so I hope that the book doesn't get too cringy at parts especially with the romance because I feel like that's where I've been like mm, the most so far but like the plot has got me I am 
in. I feel like I am a 15 year old girl sitting there reading the Hunger Games again and just kicking my feet and laughing and smiling, okay? I had to work today. Obviously, I'm in scrubs. I, I was just so upset. I was like, I just want to, all I want to do is read this book today. All I want to do is read. Like, that's the only thing. <laughs> I am just so excited about this. I am so excited to see where this is gonna go and so excited about the plot. How have I waited this long? How have I waited this long to get on this hype train? I just don't understand what I've been waiting for, honestly. I feel like I'm reading this at the perfect time too when I can actually dedicate all of this time to reading the book. But you guys, today is no other than November 7th, AKA Iron Flame release day. You know I had to go get this book. The minute I read that first chapter last night, I was like, oh, I'm getting Iron flame there's no question about it so i went and got our in flame over my lunch day and I'm, I'm going to quick cut to that clip because girl i could not wait until i got home okay i had to go right during my lunch so let's go see that clip and i will see you guys in the next update bye hello everyone it is tuesday november 7th and if you know what day that is you're watching this vlog so you probably do it is iron flame release day oh my god so desperate times call for desperate measures and I need to go to Barnes and Noble exactly right now this moment if I want to get my hands on Iron Flame. So sorry, you're just going to have to deal with the quality as it is, girl. Okay, I'm sorry. My body, soul, mind cannot wait to get this book. As you saw in the last clip, I've read like one or two chapters of this book at this point and girl, I'm obsessed. What have I been waiting for? I literally finished the first chapter last night and then I went to bed and couldn't stop thinking about it. I was so excited to wake up so I could continue reading Fourth Wing. Oh my god. Where have I been? Why has it taken me this long? I am just... I'm, I'm living under a rock, clearly. We're gonna go to Barnes & Noble right now. I'm on my lunch break. This is what you get. We're in scrubs. We're doing it. This is real life, baby. And also, apparently, there's an exclusive Barnes & Noble um, holiday edition, limited edition for Fourth Wing, which I'm probably gonna get as well. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. So without further ado, let's get my to Barnes & Noble because I need this book right this instant. Peace out. Let's do it. the worst park job of my life i swear to god i'm like three inches away from this car but girl we had to desperate times desperate times baby got him got him my beautiful beautiful babies ah, so excited why do i have to work all i want to do is read ah look at this apparently there's exclusive chapters in oh, oh my god i didn't even i didn't even notice these end pages are different than the original absolutely stunning did i pick out a few different copies so i could get the best one absolutely i did looks like there is not a map like the original one had they just have they have the map of the school but the original one had the map of the world on the end pages oh my god it's a chunkster too oh i i don't even think i can explain to you how my soul is ascending to another level at this point like all i've ever wanted is to be part of this fan romance girly like club that everyone is in and seems to be in except me like why why have I not gotten there before I have entered into a new fantasy romance era and I am just simply thriving I am so in love wait does this have special I have to see the naked okay could have been better Barnes and Noble could have been better she's thriving she is thriving okay I gotta go back to work now I'll see you guys in an update bye just voted guys don't forget to vote. Voting is cool, babes. It's important. Go vote, okay? I mean, when you can. Next election day. Gonna go read Fourth Wing, bye.
hi um not a reading update just like a hype update i i i i i i you know <laughs> All I want to do is read this. That's all I want to do. And tonight, okay, you guys, I it is currently 6 o'clock p.m. I worked out this morning. Um, hello, is she back in her 5.30 a.m. era? Maybe. I was reading this at work today, and I was like, why do I go to work? Why do I go to work? All I want to do is read this. I didn't make much progress because I was at work. Obviously, I literally read 10 pages, but all I want to do, all I want to do is read this. And part of me wants to listen to the audiobook, but I've I've tried the sample of the audiobook and I did not like the narrator. And I don't want anything putting me off of this book, okay? Nothing. So we're gonna read this physically and I am praying, praying, dear Lord, please help me read this book within the next week. All, all I'm doing tonight is reading this book. And I just, I would love it if I could get like at least a hundred pages into it more. I'm on page 50 right now. So if I can get Another 50, that'd be great. There have been a few plot points where I'm like, that didn't really make sense, but I'm, I'm just, I'm looking past it because I'm just really, really intrigued into the plot right now and I'm absolutely loving it. Okay, let's go read, bye. <laughs> Wednesday, November 8th, and I am currently 70 pages into Fourth Wing. I switched over to the special edition. You guys, I am being extra AF right now. <laughs> I have a work backpack edition and a home edition. So I'm using like the original copy that I had gotten as the one that I'm bringing to work. Um, so in case that one gets damaged, I has still have this pristine copy and I'm reading this one at home. So I'm being a little bougie in that sense, but whatever. I'm probably gonna sell the other version because I have this one now. But I wanna give my first official like reading update. I don't think I've actually like explained to you what the book is about other than like super high level thoughts. And I wanna get into like the deeds, the dirty deeds. Um, also just like don't mind the grout fit, okay? <laughs> I'm in my cozy girl era. It is dark outside starting at 4.30 p.m. right now, so I need to be cozy at all times when I'm at home. Let, let's talk, let's talk, okay? So brief description of Fourth Wing. We're following this girl, her name is Violet. She's like 20 years old. Her mom is like a facilitator at this war university or war college or something like that. And Violet, her entire life was destined to be a scribe. There's like different factions of this war college. There's like the scribe, like the healers or like the, the riders and then another one that I can't remember off the top of my head. But she was like destined to be a scribe. And her mom, last minute pulled a fast one on her and was like, nope, you're gonna be a dragon rider. Violet is now thrown into this like rider's training, the dragon rider's training, which is like extremely intensive. And essentially they don't protect the students from dying. Like basically anyone can die at any time. It's giving like Hunger Games vibes to me, honestly. So like their first trial, this is literally in the first chapter, no spoilers. There's like 
400 people that have to cross this bridge and like 70 of them died. Like they just like fell off the bridge. Students can apparently murder other students, which is wild. <laughs> But sure, okay. So basically the entire story is Violet going to this war college, right? But like people have a vendetta against her because her mom is like part of like anti-rebellion figureheads or something. Like her mom's basically been responsible for executing a lot of people who are rebelling against this like 400 year long war that this nation's been in, okay? People have it out for her and she's like gonna die, but probably not because she's obviously the main character in the book. People have it out for her and we already have a little hate to love romance going on with someone in like the little bad boy, okay? And it's very obvious to me at least, who the love interest is going to be. I'm thinking we're gonna get a little love triangle sitch. So there's this guy named Zayden and like literally chapter one, it's like they give the description of he's tall, dark and handsome and hot and mysterious. And I'm like, yeah, that's him. That's that's the one she's gonna go after, duh. Um, but then we also have like nice boy Dane, who's like family friend, like it's just giving. This is gonna be a love triangle, but I'm so here for it. I am hooked on this book like literally what took me so long right now essentially what's happening in the plot is we're getting introduced to the school so they're like going to classes and we're learning about the war and like why is the war happening and like we're it's we're doing a lot of world building right now okay it feels like i am day one of school like got my backpack on, go into class and like learning about whatever this world is. It's giving the vibes and I'm I, I'm just obsessed with it, okay? I'm, I'm purely obsessed with this book. And I was texting my best friends and I was telling them like, hey, I just started this book and I'm already loving it. And they're like, oh my God, just wait, just wait. One of my friends said, this is, it's slow to start off with in the first 150 pages and then it really picks up. But I'm like, it's slow, excuse me? Literally, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see what this book is gonna bring because we know, I already know, we're gonna get some amazing like fantasy plot that I'm gonna be just obsessed with. But then we're also gonna get the fantasy romance element. Like despite how much I'm loving it and how much I'm just like obsessed with it already, there's been a few things that I've been like, that could have been done a little bit differently and a little bit better. The fact that I can already tell you the bad boy is gonna be the love interest. Like, I, could you have made it just a little bit more subtle? Like just a little bit. I mean, it's not bad. Like I already know, but like, I just want it to be a little bit more subtle, you know? Um, just give me a little bit of build up. You don't have to just like drop it in my face right away that yeah, she hates this boy, AKA that's gonna, like they're gonna end up together. You know, you know what I mean? Essentially, there's been a few details of the plot. I don't think we're as well thought out as they could have been. Regardless of those little details that I'm like, that could have been said a little bit better. I'm getting five star feels like straight five star feels. I'm obsessed with this. What took me so long? All I wanna do is read this. It's honestly rude that my everyday life is interrupting me reading this. Like I'm going to Boston this weekend, which I'm so excited about because I'm going to see the 1975, which I'm at, like obsessed with that band. But genuinely, can we just wait one more weekend so I can read this? <laughs> Can we just put it off for one more week and so I can sit and read this book? Because all I wanna do is read this and I have to work until then and then we're leaving and then like, I'm gonna be gone the whole weekend. So I don't even, I'm so tired right now. You guys, I woke up at 5.30 in the morning to go work out. It's literally 9 p.m. and I'm like shutting my eyes, okay? I just wanted to give you my first initial thoughts on this book. I'm already loving it. I'm already obsessed with it. Literally five star feels. Can't wait to see where it goes from here. What took me so long to read this book? Also. I'm in my fantasy girl romance era. And this is all I've ever wanted to be in. She's here. She's made it. Okay, I will see you guys in the next clip. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye.
Okay, I'm back. Um, we are currently me, I me, not we. I am currently 120 pages in, okay? And I have some thoughts, I have some thoughts. I don't even know where I left off with you um, other than maybe I was just kind of explaining the plot, but there's been a few scenes that have happened that I really wanna discuss with you. Um, these are not spoilers, they're just kind of like things that are happening in the book. Again, I'm 120 pages into it and it's a 500 page book. So I just wanna talk about my thoughts. First of all, the romance. We obviously, obviously have a hate to love romance going on here, which is my favorite trope ever. I love a hate to love romance. My only thing, and I'm not, this is not even affecting my star rating at all. Like this book is gonna be five stars. I mean, it better be five stars. I'm literally obsessed with it. If it starts off this hot and goes down, I'm gonna just be pissed. But it's obviously a hate to love romance between Zayden and Violet, okay? We started off the book with a really strong hate from Zayden, the, the male character. So we've had a few scenes where they've interacted and he's being like super flirty and like really teasing us, um, which I'm obsessed with. Like I'm just kicking my feet, like literally sitting in my bed reading this book like, oh my God. But I just feel like I needed a little bit more hate. Like I wanted a little bit more buildup of the hate part. We might get that. Like that might be to come, but I, I already feel like he's being pretty flirty and like really teasing Violet. And I just feel like it's too, it's too soon right now. We just need, we need a little bit more hate before we get to the like the, oh my God, I'm in love with you part, you know? But regardless, regardless, I am so in love with this character. I am like, ugh, I'm loving it. I am, I am so loving this book. Like I am getting heated talking about it because I'm just, I'm so in love with this book. The second thing I wanted to talk to you about is Dane. D so we have kind of a love triangle, kind of a love triangle. It's not even really a love triangle, but kind of is. So we have the, the three characters, right? We have Zayden, the main male in love interest, who that's definitely gonna be the, the main guy, right? Then we have Dane, who's the best friend, who's the best friend, the lifelong best friend, the kind of cinnamon roll type dude who follows the rules and is Violet's best friend from life. And then we have Violet, the main character, okay? We got our love triangle. Zayden, hot, mysterious boy, hate to love kind of deal, and it's, it's so hot and I'm just obsessed with it. Dane, he is giving Kale vibes, and I hate it. Like, get out of the picture, man. I cannot handle you. It is such Kale vibes from Throne of Glass. Like, they are one and the same person. And it's annoying me. I hate Kale. Get off of my page. I don't want to read or do anything that reminds me of Kale, okay? And I still haven't finished Throne of Glass, so I don't even think I can give you that full endorsement yet. But at the current state I am, after reading Queen of Shadows, I don't like a Kel character. So that's my thoughts about Dane and I'm in love with Zayden. It has been so fun because there's so many different scenarios that we're getting put in from this war college. Like the fact that we have a hate to love romance, we have the school setting and we have dragons. It's just, and there's like trials and tribulations. The stakes are so high and I totally get why everyone's obsessed with it. It is so freaking good. And I, I, I literally can't put it down. I can't. But I think it's also funny too, because we're being put in all of these kind of like war college scenarios, right? And the one that I'm reading about right now is they're kind of like going through an obstacle course to get tested whether or not they are going to be fit enough to be presented to these dragons. So essentially this whole war college, like the whole riders quad quadrant of this college is to prepare riders to be able to ride dragons in as like an army to defend this nation, okay? And the dragons are the ones that choose the riders. So basically this school puts a bunch of kids through and if you literally either you make it through the school or you die that's essentially the stakes at the end of like your first school year you get presented to the dragons and if the dragons like find you know a bond with you or something then you bond with the dragon and that's going to be your dragon in war and whatever so there's like a lot of trials and tribulations to be able to get to the point where you're presented to the dragons and one of the trials and tribulations is this thing called the gauntlet, which is essentially a big obstacle course. And all this reminds me of is American Ninja Warrior. This author took American Ninja Warrior and said, I'm putting it in my book. And right now we are just watching the cadets like go through this obstacle course, this massive obstacle course. And it's making me think about that show and then do you also remember what was that one show that like it's like whip what was it like whiplash or like what was the show called 
on ABC where people did an obstacle course over water. It. It's not The View. Wipeout, that's what it was. It's bringing back American Ninja Warrior vibes and Wipeout vibes, okay? <laughs> all I'm thinking about as I'm reading these scenes. But yeah, I'm just so, so in love with this book. I think it is so good and I just can't wait to keep reading. Those are all of my thoughts so far. I am just so excited to keep reading and so excited to read Iron Flame. It's just, this book is giving five stars, baby. This, it's such high stakes. It's like Hunger Games meets Dragon Tales meets Divergent meets Harry Potter, I don't even, it's like every kind of fun trope you could ever have all smashed into one. It's so good, it is so good. I'm gonna keep reading. Today is Friday, November 10th. I'm actually going out of town. I'm going to Boston tomorrow to see the 1975 sleigh, but I'm gonna be out of town all weekend. So I'm hoping to get some reading done. Actually, I'm hoping to get a lot of reading done because to be honest, I just wanna sit and read this book. That's the only thing I wanna do. And the fact that this book makes me want to do that. It's just, that is just a five-star vibe all around. And then, yeah, I will update you guys in the next clip. Peace and love. Welcome to Boston. This is my hotel room. 
I spent the entire flight reading Fourth Wing. So we got to Boston today and we ended up walking around Harvard for quite a while this afternoon in like the Cambridge area. It was so nice and beautiful and there's a train passing right outside my window. It was so beautiful and I was like totally in like the dark academia kind of vibe, you know? Like we were just walking around the campus and I'm like, <laughs> like I felt like I was the main character, you know? This just totally fit my vibe. And while Harvard is not a war college, it still has the academia kind of vibe. And all it, I wanted to do is just like sit and read in one of like the lawns. And we did end up doing that for about 20 minutes and then it was freezing cold so we had to leave. But <laughs> we went to the Harvard bookstore and I got this cute little bookmark. And I thought it would be so cute because this is the book I'm reading while I'm here. And I just love it, it's so cute. So yeah, the, the Harvard bookstore would recommend if you've ever come to Cambridge or go to or Harvard or something like that. It was so cute, like 10 out of 10 bookstore for real. Also, just wanna apologize quickly for all the background noises. If you're hearing anything, not ideal, okay? So I'm on chapter 14 right now and things have happened, things have happened. People have continued to die and the plot has continued to develop in exactly the same way I expected it to. I, I don't want what I'm about to say to take away the fact that I'm gonna give this book five stars. I feel like I'm gonna be able to know exactly what's gonna happen in this book. Like I, I'm, I'm 160 pages in and I think I can tell you exactly how this book is gonna play out, which is not a bad thing. Like we do love predictability sometimes, okay? And I'm just like, I'm excited about this predictability because it's, it's all good things. And I just feel like I am enjoying where the foreshadowing is leading us, you know? So currently, we are at the threshing, which is the part where the students are presented to the dragons and the dragons have to like, they bond with the dragon in like this massive field of dragons or something like that. Like essentially they all like, you know, made it past the American Ninja Warrior trials. And now the students are being being presented to the dragons and being asked to bond with a dragon if they are going to become a rider. So it's really good. I'm totally in love with the descriptions of the dragons like i just feel like while we have so many tropes going on of things that like i love to read about i feel like the element of having dragons is this number one i don't normally read about dragons so i feel like it's really interesting and new to me and number two i just think that the tropes that were chosen in this were great tropes just in general like hate to love absolutely love that trope in a romance dark like not it's not really dark academia but it's an academic setting absolutely love that high stakes i mean it makes it interesting you know what i mean so i really do think i'm gonna give this book five stars unless it makes a major turn and the romance turns me off which i don't think it will because i'm obsessed with it already i'm really really loving it but read it like i said before i do think the romance portion of it could be like dragged out a little bit longer i think like we've literally had like three or four scenes where violet interacts with zayden the first scene was like absolute hate they both hate each other but then the subsequent scenes have been violet clearly is being hated on by zayden but zayden seems to be extremely flirty with her so you're like what's going on here you know i feel like i need more hate on his side initially before we get to like this turning into a flirty romance kind of vibe and i think that we're still getting some hate from him but i want a little bit more do you know what i mean we are going out to dinner tonight we're going to an italian restaurant in boston but we're gonna go to trillium first which is like one of my favorite craft breweries in the u.s like Honestly, probably my top favorite one I've ever been to. Like, no joke. Um, but then tomorrow we're gonna go tour like more of the actual Boston area, like the Boston Commons and stuff like that. And then we are going to see the 1975 tomorrow night. So this vlog is kind of turning into, I intended this to be more of like a reading vlog specific to Fourth Wing, but like the things that I'm doing in my life right now are quite fun. So it's gonna be like a blend of a weekly reading vlog and a re like, actual book reading vlog like this is the only book i'm reading in this in this vlog but also doing some cool life stuff on the side so you're gonna get some cool b-roll in it so hope you're enjoying the video see you in the next clip
everyone, so I am back from Boston, back in my home, and I'm still reading Fourth Wing. Um, I want to give you an update because I read the entire flight home yesterday, which was awesome. I think I read at least 100 and, I don't know, 20 pages since my last check-in. So I'm officially halfway through the book and I've actually been reading two different so I have this copy and then I have like my normal like regular version copy and it's been fun because I'm like I'm reading this copy at home where I like know I'm not gonna mess it up even though I already fold the pages accidentally but then I'm reading my other copy when I'm like out and about I am I am oh, I am so in love with this book oh my god this is crack this I get it I see you fantasy romance girlies and I understand. I get what it feels like to be a fantasy romance girly right now. I can't tear my eyes away. I've never felt like this about a fantasy romance book that I've read before, I swear to God. I swear to God. I am so, so obsessed with it. And while there are some things that I do cringe at, okay? The two characters, you have Violet and Zayden, and that's the hate to love, and you figure it out right away, so I'm not spoiling it, okay? But there's, the, you can tell that there's this, like, tension and, like, connection between them, right? But he calls her this pet name. Her name's Violet, and he calls her Violence, and it's just, like, even in, like, the most intense of conversations, he will call her Violence. And I'm like, dude, use her name or call her a nickname like if you called her vi i'd be fine with that but violence that is my general feeling towards fourth wing right now i'm so in love with it and i i can't wait i can't wait to start iron flame um i've been hearing mixed reviews on iron flame so far but other updates for fourth wing so this is non-spoilery reading vlog but i want to give you like general like how we're moving through the plot, right? So we know we're at this school and they have to like, the goal is to like eventually bond a dragon, right? And I didn't realize how quickly that first kind of year was going to be within the school or like the first kind of set of trials was going to be. I thought initially starting off that they weren't going to like meet a dragon until like the very end of the book. No, I'm halfway through and she's like, they're meeting dragons. I mean, you know she's gonna meet a dragon, right? Obviously there's a full book about it and then there's a full second book about it. She obviously doesn't die in the book. I mean, if she did, I'd die at the end of this book, I'd be surprised. But I just feel like it's moving quicker than I had expected it to move. And you know how I told you earlier in one of the earlier clips, I was like, I think I can tell you exactly how this book is gonna play out. Nope, don't think I can tell you anymore. I feel like I've been totally thrown for a loop. I really thought this was gonna be way more predictable than it was, and I feel like it's not. I mean, like, yeah, some things I'm like, I probably could have seen that coming. I saw this coming a little bit, but it's not like extremely super obvious, unless I'm dumb, and I'm sure a lot of people have figured out a lot more plot points than I have. And I just love how high stakes it is. I think that's what I've loved about like a lot of those YA books like Hunger Games and like Divergent and stuff. It's such high stakes where it's like, well, you either do this or you're gonna die. It's just like left and right. There's just, there's just high stakes everywhere. No one is safe. It's so good. It is so freaking good. So the point at where I'm at, so the tension between these two characters is really tensioning right now. Nothing um, has happened, but like, you know it's going to, you know it's going to. Um, and then in terms of the plot, basically the first years are at the point where they are deciding and like bonding with their dragons and stuff like that. And I'm just enjoying it because like, like I said, no one is safe. There are little twists and turns at every little thing and something could come right around the corner and just like whip your head off. Literally, literally that could happen in this book. So yeah, really, really enjoying it. Can't wait to keep reading. I honestly, last night we got home and I was like, I should update the vlog, but all I wanted to do was just like sit and read it. And then I ended up watching Great British Baking Show. So I didn't actually read anymore, but I was at the gym today and I was like walking on the treadmill. Could not tear my eyes away. I should have taken into account how long this book was take, going to take me to read. Um, it's 500 pages and I've been reading it for a week and I'm halfway through. I mean, that's my normal reading pace and we went on a vacation. So I guess I shouldn't be too upset that I'm not reading it quicker, but hope you guys enjoy this. Thought this video was gonna go up a week before it's probably going to. And I'll talk to you guys in the next clip. Bye. Hi, 
Reading update for the fourthest wing. <laughs> I'm probably 75%. I'm not gonna give you plot deets um, because I feel like that we're getting into spoiler territory at this point in the book. I, I just wanna tell you, I'm gonna finish this book tonight. I just had a few, a few little thoughts in my head. First thought, the pacing of this book is incredible and I feel like things are happening at every twist and turn. Every single chapter, something new is happening. I've n I have not hit a point in this book where I have felt bored or slow or like I wanna give up. I am flying through this book because I'm so intrigued into the plot. Character development. I'm not in love with how they did the character development for the main character so far. And you know, I was feeling a five star. I honestly think I might give it 4.5 just in the fact that I'm not feeling like Violet is very well fleshed out. As a character, ugh, I can't get over Zayden. I truly can't. I've never been this like, with a book boyfriend before. I feel all the feels, all, I think this is one of my favorite book boyfriends I've ever had, honestly. But yeah, I just feel like I need, I need a little bit more with Violet. Like I don't feel connected to her necessarily as a character. I just feel like she's more or less a vessel of us trying to have this hate to love romance. I just, I need more, character development from her. Violet's lacking in characters. Zayden, obsessed and in love with. Dane, get away from me. Get off the page. Like I said before, complete Kale vibes. Like Dane is, what is with these one syllable names? Dane is Kale and it's disgusting and I just, I'm, I don't wanna hear him anymore. Yeah, and then the plot is just everything to me. I'm, I'm really loving the relationship with the dragons that we have. Like, I feel like I do have quite a few relationships I'm keeping track of right now. And I feel like some of those probably could be more fleshed out better, um, like the re relationship with Rhiannon. I'm hoping that as we progress into Iron Flame, we get more of a connection between Violet and like the dragon. I'm really enjoying the fantasy elements of this book too. I just think they're really, like, I don't know, in my mind they're really strong and I'm just like, I'm just loving it, you guys. I'm loving it. I'm gonna read this book. I'm going to finish this book tonight, but first I'm gonna watch the Great British Baking Show because it's Friday night. See you on the other side of the war. Comment down below if you know where that's from. Okay, bye. I did it. I finished it. I love this book. <laughs> it's currently 10 30 at night and i have to wake up in the morning to go to work tomorrow um i need to go to bed like immediately but i want to just give you my thoughts really quick really quick i don't even remember where we left off last time all i know is i had like about 75 pages left and it was before we all knew it was coming this isn't new this isn't news if you know this book is a fantasy romance book romance equals so that happened and it was spicy. The way the book ended, I'm obviously not gonna say spoilers. I did like it. I thought it was action packed. It was good. The only thing is, is I felt like there were some loose ends. I felt like some of those loose ends should have been tied up in this book before we get to the next one. And I know I'm kind of being vague there, but yeah, wish they would have tied those loose ends up a little bit better. The other thing is, like I said, loved the ending. Action packed. Things were happening. Couldn't turn my eyes away from the pages. I lost track of time. I didn't know what was happening. It was like a movie playing in my head. It was great. But then we got a POV shift, okay? To, to Zayden. Honestly, that chapter kind of ruined part of the mysteriousness of Zayden for me. I don't know. I feel like the book was so strong. It was so strong in fantasy plot. It was so strong in like the school setting, like the academia of it all. It was strong in like the dragons. And I thought that the enemies to lover romance was really well done until you got to the end. Until the end. I feel like we went from like hating each other to like crept up a little bit, got like a little bit, you know, we ramped up the romance a little bit and then all of a sudden it was like flights took off and we are like in love. And it just, it flew a little too fast for me and it felt like we needed some more buildup before we dropped the L-bombs, you know? <laughs> like, 
we went there a little too soon. Um, it just felt like a little insta lovey, if that's the correct term for it. It just felt like hated each other, hated each other, and then all of a sudden it was like couldn't separate. And it was like really intense, really intense feelings. I was like, let's just wait until like book two or three for these feelings. And that kind of ruined it for me. Not like ruined it. Oh my God, my battery's gonna die. Okay, we good. The Insta Love didn't ruin it for me, but it definitely put a damper on my overall thoughts of the book. Also, major ick, okay? <laughs> her name is Violet and he kept calling her violence in a serious way. Like not a cute pet name. Like sometimes it was a pet name, but then other times he would straight up replace her name with violence. And I'm like, please stop. I swear to God for that fact alone, I am rating it a 4.75 stars instead of a five stars because I can't get over the fact that he doesn't say her real name. Use her God given name. I could not, I could not with that. I, I'm saying this right now. I am saying this my full heart and soul. This is probably the best fantasy romance I've ever read. And I know some people might be shocked about that. Honestly, <laughs> I couldn't stop thinking about this book the entire time I was reading it. I was so absorbed in it. I felt like I was in Dragon Tales. I felt like I was in House of Dragon. Also, if you decide to read these, this series, listen to House of Dragon soundtrack as you're reading this book. It's, it'll transport you. It is total vibe. I felt incredible when I did that. I'm gonna give it a 4.75 stars solely on the fact that it got really insta-lovey at the end and that he called her violence instead of Violet the entire book in serious ways. When it was a serious situation, he would call her violence. That's like calling me Care Bear in a serious situation. Pretend I'm at my job, my medical job, and someone calls me Care Bear. Like, are you kidding me? I couldn't get over that. I truly couldn't. <laughs> Overall, I'm giving it a 4.75. I thought everything was amazing except that insta-love portion at the end and that weird pet name. I thought the pacing was great. I thought the plot was great. The plot was really what drove me for the most part and the fact that it was so heavily like fantasy plot based and then the romance was the romance was a common thread throughout the book or like the hate to love stuff was, it was a common thread, but it wasn't like super, super in your face, which I really like. I feel like that's kind of where my romance, fan, like fantasy romance genre balances out the best. So I felt like that was, that was done really well. I just like, I love a school setting and I love a high stakes situation. It just felt like Hunger Games and Divergent and like, it felt like I was reading back when I was 15 years old and, but in a good way and in a more elevated way for now when I'm 29 years old, I'm still interested and intrigued. Needless to say, I wanna start on Iron Flame immediately. We definitely got left on a cliffhanger here. I wanna know, I wanna go into the next book. And I also, I know it's had like a bunch of mixed reviews. I'm still gonna read it. I'm still gonna read it. <laughs> The last thing I was gonna say is this is the extended version or something like that where they have like two extra chapters from Zayden's POV. And like I just told you how the POV was so off from the original perspective of Zayden, you definitely do not have to read those if you were interested in buying this copy to read those. Like absolutely not necessary. And I don't feel like it added much to the book, if anything at all. <laughs> It was kind of just like this little fluff thing at the end and I was like, okay, skipping, 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 skimming, skimming, skimming. That was that. So overall, 4.75 stars. I am really glad I read this. I'm really glad I just tried it and picked it up and honestly, might be in my top few books of the year. I really loved it. <laughs> if you guys have made it this far into the video, leave a dragon emoji. Because dragons, dragon sails, dragon sails. Leave a dragon emoji. And that's that. I will see you in my next video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace and love. Bye.